quite the interesting week for gospel singer Dante Bo. The split with Maverick City Music, an apology for inappropriate behavior, but all of a sudden now, that apology that Dante Bo posted, no longer on social media. We'll get into all the details of it, guys, in less than 10 seconds. First, if you could, if YT lets you, try and hit that like button for me. Also, very important, you please share the video, help us get around the algorithms, hit the bell, subscribe, wear the glasses because I'm blind. And as always, guys, if you could help donate here to our ministry, help support what I do, please see more info in the description on that. So, this whole situation with Dante Bo and Maverick City Music, I talked about it when it first happened. But since then, some developments have gone down. Dante Bo, who was a part of Maverick City Music, which I, you know, I completely picked not only Dante Bo apart, but also Maverick City Music. And that upset a lot of people in the last video when I did that, because I basically said that these, these artists aren't real Christian artists. And that, you know, that triggered many people who did not uh, appreciate the fact that I told the truth when it comes to these artists, like so many in the Christian industry who claim to be from the Lord and doing the Lord's work and uh, singing the gospel music, but they live a completely different lifestyle and they serve a completely different purpose. So since then, Dante Bo took to social media and he issued an apology for his inappropriate behavior. Now, it's important to know that it was never cited at any point by either Maverick City Music or Dante himself about what that behavior was. Maverick City Music said that, well, this behavior by Dante was inconsistent with our core values, <laughs> as if they're so righteous, and that it's best that they put a pause on their relationship. Dante comes out, this is on uh, Thursday, September 29th, where he had uh, put this apology out. And it basically stated that he needs to be better about the way he conducts himself with, you know, his social media and, you know, didn't realize that when he, you know, dreamed of getting into this business that people would have so many opinions and that he would be, you know, you know, looked upon in the spotlight. You know, all this stuff that's like, well, of course you would know this. I mean, who wouldn't know this? So he said he was going to be taking a step back to deal with, you know, his own issues, whatever those were. And he had, you know, consulted with, he said, some wise counsel. And they said that this is the best thing that he, you know, this is the best thing for him. This went from his Instagram being private, then back to public again, and it was just switching around all over the place. So on Saturday, October 1st, it was noticed that the apology that Dante Bo had posted was no longer there. It had been removed from his social media. Why was that, and what would be the reason for him to take it down? I'll get into that, guys, in a second. First, let me put a quick plug in for my Patreon, guys. I got to do this. I get no monetization on this channel. This is the only way I have to let you guys know how you can help support me. If you guys enjoy what I do here, bring you guys this news. Like I said, I'm not going to get the support from YT. You guys can help out in a major way, though. Plus, if you only watch these videos through YT Alerts, you miss a ton of my content because they won't always send the notifications out. So you sign up on Patreon. You'll always be alerted. Plus, you can leave your comments there completely censorship-free. You can also send me direct messages. And if you guys prefer to donate to the ministry on PayPal, you can do that too. All the links are down below. A big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. So the apology is gone. And after many people had come out with their own theories, their own, never so much theories, but examples of what this inappropriate behavior could have been, many are now saying that, well, this has led to Bo taking down the apology altogether. Um, I just think it just makes him look even, even more guilty. So here are a couple of the, the reasons why people are pointing out 
you know, the behavior that potentially caused a split with him in the group. For one, Dante Bo, not very long ago, this is all circulated on social media, had been seen on a party bus with Latin rapper Bad Bunny, who is known for explicit lyrics. Uh, even at a recent performance uh, for an MTV Awards, he was uh, kissing one of his uh, dancers, one of his other male dancers, I should say. Yes, Bad Bunny is a male. Kiss another male dancer. Uh, this is not somebody that you would expect a Christian artist to be uh, getting close to. It wasn't as if he was ministering the gospel of Christ to this man. Also, when Maverick City Music was performing at the Grammy Awards, Dante Bo was interviewed about who, you know, they always ask us at these awards, right? Who are you looking forward to seeing tonight? Out of everybody that he could have said, he said he was looking forward to seeing Lil Nas X. You don't know who Lil Nas X is? Lil Nas X is a rainbow rapper who uh, recently had put out those Satan shoes, which supposedly included a uh, an actual drop of human blood in the soul. This is something that you know, supposedly he partnered with Nike with, but then Nike tried to back down from it and say that they didn't have any association with Lil Nas X. I mean, this guy's music videos, he's been seen on there, you know, giving a lap dance to the devil. Why would a Christian artist, why would a Christian artist say that they're looking forward to a performance by someone like this? And remember, I had people that attacked me on my last video that said, how dare you? And this is a man of God. How dare you come against him and judge him? How dare you? How dare you give these people a pass? These aren't true Christians. There's a difference between a slip up with sin and you repenting of that sin and then you going out there and participating in these actual patterns and behaviors and lifestyles of a sinner. Willfully. Not by accident. You're choosing to go on a party bus with this bad bunny. You're choosing to say, I'm looking forward to seeing a performance from this satanic rapper, Little Nas X, who's also a part of the rainbow community. That gives lap dances to Satan in his music videos. Yeah, this is the guy that won a Dove Music Award for one of his songs. <laughs> yeah, I'm the crazy one. Okay, okay. You know, it's sad when you, you people out there that support these artists, you rather sell out to them than you would to God. You defend them till the end. I, I don't get it. I, I it's, it's, it's truly sad. You make them idols. It's very sad to see that. Now, to make things even more interesting in this story, Dante Bo, as of now, this could change, maybe even by the time some of you are watching this, is still scheduled to go on his joyful tour, <laughs> which will be taking place at the end of October, where he will be going to various churches across the country to perform. Yes, they are selling tickets for this, would you put money towards a so-called Christian artist that has been caught up in all this stuff? Would you? I also thought it was interesting that out of multiple churches that were contacted for comment about what's recently been going on with Dante and the fact that, well, their church is hosting him for this concert, none of them have replied back. None of them. You know what? Makes them just as guilty. If you are willing to put someone like that in your church, on your platform, performing in the house of God, knowing that they have been actively associating themselves with these sorts of people, you need to go to God and repent yourself. You're just as guilty. But it's not really about pleasing God these days anymore, is it? No, it's about pleasing one's own self-interests pleasing the world, pleasing man, right? 
oh, he's popular. We can, you know, we're going to get a chunk of chunk of money from this. Okay. Okay. What will all of that matter when you stand before God at the end of time? What will all of it matter? Nothing. Nothing. You'll be held accountable. You'll have to give an account of every decision that you've made. It's coming for many of us. Hey, I'm just bringing you some hard truth here. May not be popular. Not going to cause everybody to like me. Not going to make a lot of friends. That's okay. It's not what I'm here to do. I'm here to bring the truth. I'm here to bring the loss to Jesus Christ. Speaking of that, I don't ever leave any video here without giving people the opportunity to receive Jesus as their Lord and Savior. That's you. If you're watching right now, you're someone that has not yet accepted Christ into your life. I want to lead you in a prayer right now to do just that. This is a prayer you can do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing you want to do right off the top, acknowledge you are a sinner. Something that we all are. The good news is this. God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. Repent means to, this is important, to turn from your sin. Not just to say you're sorry and then you just jump right back in your old ways. You have to turn from those lifestyles, those habits, patterns, behaviors, things in your life that do not line up with the Word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and you ask Him to forgive you, He'll wipe your sin away. And the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. I will have more on this down below. You guys can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It is a great blessing if you can help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.